Yeah, um, and even better, let me give you another tip. If you got a really good student, if we took horses, and horses are easy to find, and they're usually on their own. One horse in a stable, poor thing, one horse outside. We're only going to teach it three things. Lure reward training. Come when called. Easy. One session is probably six trials because horses learn in fewer trials than border collies. They learn so quickly, lure reward training. Come when called to go to and voluntarily walk in a horse box yeah. and to lie down on cue so we don't have to cast them with ropes just mm. to look at their underbelly. Trainer does that, they will become one of the most important horse people in the world. And think about it. The, and the two things there are easy. So the recall simple for a dog trainer to teach a horse to come and go to a horse box. Easy for a dog trainer to teach a horse. The lie down, luring it down needs a little thought. So you need to video a horse lying down and think, how do we lure this? And my tip would be, you need to make a little bridge out of hay bales. So you can put your hand underneath to bring the horse's head in. Right, like under the knee. Equipment. And he will kneel down first. And then what mm. you do is when he's kneeled, push the lure into him and the butt collapses. Mm. So the first person to do this with horses, and, and I mean, they're going to make millions of dollars. <laughs> but no, uh, when you look at the number of racing horses that can't even walk to a starting gate I without know. freaking out. It is, if you want to see training Still in the Neolithic age, it's horses. You know, most dog trainers, yeah, as you say, some people still use shock collars or metal collars or jerk or what have you. But by and large, it's made huge steps. Horse training hasn't. We have small groups who are doing join up, which of course is negative reinforcement. Yep. You think Absolutely. about it. Yeah, no, it's, I, I, you know, when, they, when I explain the ear pinch, they go, no, I say, well, it's negative reinforcement. Yeah, torture. When you do what I want, I'll stop hurting you. And of course, it's psychological negative reinforcement. But given the, the end results, it's cool. It's fine. Because so, now the horse isn't scared of people and we have a relationship. So it, it's one trial of stress. But, you know, when we look, there's just small groups of people using really slow, inefficient, ineffective techniques. And what we need is lure reward training in horses training them up quickly, doing the basics. Because come here is the acid test of does that horse like you yeah, with any animal? Absolutely. And I, I yeah. agree entirely. And it's, it's time for my confession then. Because when I first moved into academia, um, I was actually employed. They had set up the first degree in equine science in the UK. And they were told they needed two members of staff. They needed a vet to teach the equine health and somebody to teach the equine behavior. And the guy in charge said, well, I'll get a vet with an interest in behavior. And it, this, this advert appeared in the vet record for a vet with an interest in behavior. And I was in, uh, I was in practice. And I thought, well, that looks good. I'll go with it. Um, and I sort of turned up for interview. And I mean, I've always been around um, dogs as I grew up. I'd learned to ride, but you know, never been a great rider. And I like horses. They're more of a problem with some of the horse owners. I mean, some of them are brilliant. Some of them are absolute nightmares. But anyway, they, they offer me the job. And so I have to deliver this course in equine behavior. And I can say it because I don't teach the course anymore. Um, I ended up doing my PhD in horse behavior. And I, I was thinking, well, what am I going to teach them? I thought, well, I had one lecture at university on horse behavior. That was by Sid Ricketts. Um, and talking right okay i've dug out those notes that's not gonna that's not gonna last 12 weeks um so i thought well i'll just sort of teach them and sort of how you train a dog but i'll put the word horse in front of it yeah and and the students were sort of wow this is so this is really different you know and and after a few years i wrote up my notes into the book equine behavior and to my amazement, you know, it was really well received. And people said, oh, wow, this is radical. And I was thinking, what do you mean it's radical? This is this is just the way you train a dog, but it's a horse. And yeah, people really, I mean, I, I never built on it any further. And this is why I'm in academia and not in business. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not good at uh, commercializing those things. But um, 
but yeah, I agree with you entirely. It's absolutely, you know, the, the basic stuff that we do with dogs, you can just apply with horses. And I was, I was chatting with somebody actually the other day and they would train the horse and I said, well, why didn't you just train the horse, um, you know, to load on a verbal command into the lorry? And they sort of, oh, yeah. well, you know, owners aren't, owners are used to the negative reinforcement and she's a good trainer and I'm sure she would no, they, do, it, they, do it well. They, very, no, I, I got to stop you right there. Very few owners are doing negative reinforcement. They do not have the skill. They do yeah, not have well, the timing. They yes. are just doing what they think is punishment or positive yeah. reinforcement, but it ain't because yeah. it's not solving the problem. Because if it was solving, the, by definition, if punishment was solving the problem, you wouldn't be punishing anymore. Mm. But that yeah. ain't the case. They do it every day. So therefore, if it's not punishment, what is it? Well, it's just downright abuse. Yeah. When we look at the transference of dog techniques to horses, it's interesting to see what they do because remember the five reward-based mm. training techniques I, I, I mentioned, low reward training, all and unreward training, shaping, auto shaping, and prompting with rewards. Well, all they do is prompting with rewards and it's all disguised with this prey behavior, predatory behavior, mm. push here, look here, and but it's basically prompting with rewards then shaping got into horses. We had a number of people who were clicker training. Mm. But the other three, they've never used auto shaping. Oh my God, every horse in a stable needs some mm. kind of auto shaping toy, you know, so he doesn't pace or crib bite or wind suck or what have you, the equivalent of stuffing Kongs. And then when we train them, every horse needs to be trained first by all in our reward training and then lure reward training and we speed things up and in one session you can I, I tell you I, I got a horse that well I started riding when I was at vet college because I hated horses I was scared of them so I took riding classes and I kind of liked the riding never very good at it but I continued riding in California they had this lovely horse um, that used to anyone who got on it it threw them off uh, you went in the stable it tried to kick you out the stable you know like if you were a horsey person who was up on your high horse they would send you in to put a halter on it in the stable and you would come out quickly so i kind of like this horse because she number one she was cool with me because i treated her like a biting dog and she would come to me and lower her head because i taught her head up head down head up. and what does head down mean i'm okay with you then i put the rope round her neck let her go come again so then i taught her to come in the stable lower the head put her on and we became quite friends and i liked her because she had an easy trot <laughs> and i'm a crappy rider okay so eventually they were going to get rid of her um, because she just had too many people off and so i thought well I, I, i'll buy her so i bought her i renamed her pudding they called her Black Beauty, but she looked like a black pudding, essentially. She was <laughs> blob. So, and I trained her on the floor, four on the floor. I put her on leash and I taught her forward, halt, forward, halt, or forward, whoa, forward, whoa. Then I went through the gears and on the ground, I could only do the first three, you know, walk, um, trot, canter. We did it all on the ground with grass. I went out, she saw this grass. She's trying to get out through the fence. I hopped over the fence, picked all the grass, put it in a bag. I had a lurid water. I could not believe how quickly she learned. Then I did hustle and steady. Then I, uh, I trained in, classically trained in, a reward spot on the right side of her neck. Why? Because everyone approaches horses on the left-hand side, which I call the danger side. That's where you're going to get bitten or kicked. So I approached on the left, patted her, treat pat treat pat treat so now i can do it from the saddle and i'm not kidding the next day i got on the horse i said pudding walk <laughs> and she walks and so i patted her on the neck pudding you know trot because i hadn't got the leg aids i just couldn't do it i would squeeze and i'd pull a muscle in my groin and try to get her to do all this stuff but now i just chatted to her and i concentrated on my style so i looked really good which is unverbal commands hmm. And it blew my mind how quickly she learned this, quicker than any breed of dog I'd ever worked with. And she got it. Like I'm, I'm walking alongside her, I remember, and I said, uh, hustle, steady. You know, hustle, I speed up, steady, I slow down. She got that in an instant. 
with the with the grass rewards. So no, it's a gold mine out there because they're only using physical prompting with rewards. They're only using which is all the horsey horse whispering stuff, basically, just remastered uh, with fancy names like join up and horse logic and you know horse savvy but it's basically physical prompting with rewards um, but what they need is auto shaping for loneliness in the paddock and stable and then all-in-one reward training and lure reward training and you've got a trained yeah. horse <laughs>